How's it going guys? It's Country Tactical here with Corbin. <laughs> and today we're going to be trying to make the World War I Austro-Hungarian uniform from Walmart for under $100. You guys requested this and we're doing it. So remember to keep leaving down comments for what uniform you guys want us to do next. Now this uniform would be great for upcoming Halloween, airsoft, or even school presentations. However, you cannot use this for official reenactments because it's a Walmart great value uniform. And with that out of the way, let's get to Walmart. Today we're going to be trying to make the World War I Austro-Hungarian uniform. I got Corbin here. He's ready to go ahead and try to make this uniform. The first thing we're going to need are some boots. Now I've been looking around and the best thing I can really find for boots because we're going to add putties are these Chelsea boots. Now I got these before they were nine dollars. For some reason they marked them back up. Uh, it seems like they're selling a different brand but your Walmart might still be selling the nine dollar Chelsea's. Try to look for cheap Chelsea boots because if you get them you're able to wrap stuff around them quite well because they have a thin lip. Other boots that we're looking at just have too fat of a lip to fit putties around. So we're gonna use the ones we have at home, but remember try to find the non-dollar ones. Anyways, the next thing we're gonna need are some putties. We made it into the medical section and what we're gonna try to use for putties are these ace bandages. These are about $2 each. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different to them in this video. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get these for the putties. And next up is the uh, pants. What is that? Uh, massager yeah. <laughs> okay so we're looking for something that can be used as a tunic and these $16 Wranglers might actually work quite well uh, what size should we get like a large yeah it kind of goes over we want that extra length to go over now let's find some good pants to go with it we're at the $10 blue jeans the George regular fits now these are a bit large you can see the waist is quite big see the color actually kind of blends pretty good in theory this would actually work it's a little bit off but should get the job done and especially since it's so cheap perfect for Halloween. Dude, these are gigantic. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Oh my. Hey, they're cheap. All these other jeans are like $17, $20. It'll work. We, we got a belt. Uh. <laughs> Let's try to find the webbing. We're going to try all brown. Now, what we need for the brown webbing is we already have these $9 suspenders at home. So remember to pick up some of these. We're going to add $9 to the final price. And we need a brown belt. Usually there's like $7 brown belts if you can find one. The good thing is we already have a brown belt that we got for another video at home so we're probably just going to use the one we have at home as well because there's no point in you know buying another one next up is the hat we're gonna have to make that we're going to go to the baseball caps to find it four dollar black baseball cap these are quite good and quite cheap running at only four dollars now we're going to need some cardboard to make the kind of peaked look we're in for the school supply section and we need a cheap uh cardboard folder these are like a dollar i'm pretty sure it really doesn't matter what color you get because you're going to cover it with duct tape yeah i'm just going to get this red one because we're going to completely cover it now we need two more items which is duct tape and spray paint we're going to need to find a good spray paint that matches the austro-hungarian color i'm going to go ahead and look up some photos and see if we can match something satin this this yeah. color looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie it is four dollars but make sure you have a parent with you if you're too young because you can't buy spray paint unless you're 18. it does not look like we have a satin duct tape but i'm gonna go ahead and get a white duct tape we could also get a gray because it almost matches this we're just gonna get a gray that's pretty much all we need the rest of the stuff is at home so we'll update y'all on that we're gonna do the price check at home so we can add up everything now let's go ahead and check out but we're not gonna record that because people get mad but we just checked out we got austro-hungarian finally told the walmart lady like why we uh come in here all the time and buy the clothes and she thought it was like for a drama class or something it's kind of funny she's like oh okay let's go get something to eat all right. here's a receipt by the way we got our McDonald's meal. And we got Big Chungus. Big Chungus to listen to. Chungus defended our territory. Here is everything we need for the Austro-Hungarian uniform from Walmart for under $100. We got the Chelsea boots, the belt, and suspenders already here. So we went ahead and added that to everything we have. We're going to go ahead and do a price analysis and see how much all this stuff costs. Go ahead and get out your calculator. First up is the $4 hat. $4 for both ace bandages. $4 for the duct tape. $4 for the satin spray paint. $9 for the Chelsea boots. Just put a dollar for the folder. The shirt was like $16. Bucks. Pants, $10.00 suspenders are nine dollars and belt was seven dollars how much is all of this seventy two dollars let's hope you can find the cheap chelsea's though all right let's go ahead and start putting it on the first thing we're going to need to put on are the pants and the boots so let's go ahead and slap that on as you can tell we just finished the spanish american war uniform video go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it it's pretty good it's gonna have to put on the big old pants now okay we got the big old, big old pants on. let's see how good they fit 
<laughs> okay, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, can't complain for $10. These pants are way too big. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, it looks like you're from the 90s. You got the 90s style, bro. <laughs> okay, so next up is the boot. So remember to like sand the shininess down on these boots. He's stuffing the uh, big old thick old jeans in there so it'll provide support for the putties. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the ace bandages. Here they are. Bro, they're so baggy. So these are kind of like a roll. I'm gonna throw these on. Ooh, look at that. Remember to take off the hooks, set them aside. Yeah, he's gonna have to wrap quite tight. It's good and secure. You don't want them falling off. There we go. Okay, next up is the tunic. Ooh, muscles. Here we go. Okay, we got the webbing on. I need to tighten it up a little bit. Now we just need to make the cap so far he's looking all right. So they have a kind of a special hat. I'm just kind of guessing the loop. You can always perfect it at home. This side has enough length. I'm going to go around. I'm going to tape it up right here. It should feel right. Honestly, this is already tall enough, so all I have to really do to make the peak is um, go down a little bit. And this might allow us to make something out of it. And then I'm gonna try to get a little triangle. This might work. Now I'm gonna need to put it on your head. So we're gonna put this head on, tighten it up a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna fit it on right there. That looks good, turn to the side a little bit. As you can see, that's actually went on quite nicely. The next step is we're gonna try to make a cap, but we're gonna seal it on first. Adding some extra security. This should help add integrity and keep it up. So that's extra security makes it even stronger. We're going to need to get a piece of cardboard that can angle. There's two little pieces angle your head down a little bit more. So I'm gonna try to get them fastened and I'm gonna trim them up. Putting a bit more time into this hat because hopefully it'll turn out good. A little bit tall, but it's fine. I mean, it kind of has the peak look. It's a little bit bulky, but I guess for a future reference, just try to slim the top down. But overall, it kind of gets the look. They had like two buttons on the top of the cap. You could kind of remake it in a sense with just a Sharpie. That looks good. But we're also gonna try something else. So this is more of a gray than sort of a grayish blue. We're gonna try to get this all a similar color. Now we're gonna try to make his putties like a pike blue. See if this works. Hey, We got a little bit of overspray on the shoe. Wow, looking like a true Austro-Hungarian. It looks really good. Turn to the side, like the hat looks all right. I mean, overall, I think this will get the job done. You can almost use this same color for the French uniform. The French uniform is actually quite close to this. You just need a different hat. We tried to recreate the piked gray. I think it's sort of there. But yeah, let's go get your gun and teach them Italians a lesson. Sadly, we have no bullets for his gun. We're just gonna have to charge the Italian couch down there, which should be fine. But first, could we get 1915 likes and if you're new feel free to subscribe check out the merch suggest the next uniform that we should do because we listen to your comments so yeah let's go ahead and teach them italians a lesson charge teach them a lesson <laughs> yeah uh-oh Can you hurt on it? Are you able to jump that up? 
Hey, he made it. Wow. I really like this uniform.